Killers of the Flower Moon. Man, uh, me and Al went to go check this out earlier today. Mm-hmm. I forgot. Well, I knew this was a three-hour movie, but I, f- I, I guess I didn't completely look at it. It's a three-hour and a half-hour movie, so it was an extra 30 minutes. Long so this is probably the longest movie i ever seen in a the theater. Yeah. Since, uh, since double features when they used to show two movies. Yeah. That's, Did yes. the seats recline at least? No. No, bro. <sighs> <laughs> we didn't get the seat reclined theater. And, and this nigga behind me kept kicking my seat. We got the IMAX, though. Like how close? Like, did you guys have, like, good seats? No, we got good seats. We got, sure. good, we got seats. good seats. Yeah, but it was just like, and, like, nah, 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 we were straight. If that was the case, chill. we probably would have had to get, Three get up and, and one half. I- niggas would still Bruh. be like, bro. Yo, n- <laughs> so, I'll, uh, let me see how I want to come at this. This movie, I'll say, well, first of all, it had me in my feelings. I was Triggering. I came out of there a little depressed because of it being based on a true story. And even though if it's not a hundred percent accurate, just seventy to eighty percent of that is extreme, bro. Like the things that these uh Indian people have went through over this oil is completely utterly disgraceful, bro. How far as uh, just how they were treated? Um, yeah, this is shame. starring uh, Robert De Niro. You got Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. My man, um, what's my man name? Uh, the Mummy Dude, oh, Brendan, Brendan Fraser. Fraser. Yeah. Um, it had a bunch of even Fraser was in here, <laughs> right? But it had it had a bunch of stars and also a Let bunch of people um, that I've never seen before as far as the um, the Indian actors, but. Um, it's just showing you the pretty much the oil company like situation in uh what was that? Was that Oklahoma? Yeah. Yeah. So um this was just really intense, bro. I'll say this, uh Martin Scorsese can direct the hell out of a film. Yeah. It wasn't a point in time where I was bored during a movie. But I for sure felt the runtime, but I wasn't bored if that makes right. sense. Like I was, I was just, I just wanted to see how far he was going to take it as far as story, and he 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 definitely to me in my eyes told a complete story from beginning nice. to end, and it was very creative. Um, I I noticed, I I remember a few of the shots, the um overhead crane shots over like different farms and buildings was probably my favorite Mm -hmm. um but as far as like the acting top tier for sure robert de niro Uh, mm, damn molly she was played by lily glassstone oh okay that's the uh, leo's Leo's wife. wife yeah um leo molly and um robert de niro probably were like the most ridiculous when it came to screen time. Oh, oh well, especially Robert De Niro was crazy, bro. That man. What was the brand name? Of the that's dude crazy. That played the the FBI sheriff. Oh, that's my man. Yeah, <laughs> he, he always tight, bro. Yeah, I, I did not know his name. Um, he's saucy though, but I don't know, man. Uh, you had they showed you glimpses of what happened in Tulsa as far as the um Black Wall Street. Mm-hmm. It was just. <sighs> Super triggering. Yeah. Have you have you like have you any type of history buff or any type of like revolutionary anything like that? You were going to it's like watching a slave movie almost. Yeah, man. It, it was got just those vibes. They like, got so ruthless back in the day. You yeah, can just go ahead and call it like the Wild West type of vibes where anything can go down and you just at the will to these people running these oil companies, bro. Yeah. And like the Indians own the land, so they actually have. Yeah, they they were pretty much Freemasons or Freemason whatever. Freemason aspect. They were showing you how Freemasons get down. Like they are manipulative. All of it, very well connected. Well connected. They got guidelines that, and they they manipulate people into doing deeds for them that they wouldn't necessarily do on their own. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't have it on. They, I mean, they got blood on their hands, but not. Physically, yeah. like not literally, like you so, couldn't really prove it was them unless somebody just totally snitched. Yeah, and th- with the the Freemason thing, like they they was rit- ritual with it, like yep. just getting 
getting hit with the paddle with yeah. the whole shit. They like didn't get me. hella deep into it, but you definitely it was definitely that was necessary to show. Yeah, it was on the surface for sure. That that's that's what made it more like mob esque. Like yeah. okay, this is this is their version of the mob. It's the uh, messianic uh, masons, bro, yeah. basically, and um, it was just almost kind of terrifying. Like watching it and seeing like seeing it play out because you see like Robert De Niro is playing this character who is like supposed to be super likable because mm-hmm. everybody in the town fuck with him, but he is technically the one pulling all the strings as far as like we need all the Indians to die so we can get all their money and yeah. you need to marry them. Like we all have to marry one of these women to in order to you know get the rights and like ha- have kids with them and stuff he like that. So shady. once they do pass away. It, things that either go to the kids or go to you, so it'll be in the family. You feel me? And just knock down the dudes. And they said it a couple of times, but I mean, you know, it might be some anti-Semitism because they definitely was saying like because they was Jewish, <laughs> like that uh, they was hella greedy with money and shit. Him and uh, Leo's character. Is that why I, when I kept the trailer? I just they kept seeing certain parts, and it was like Leo be in front of somebody. It, Sitting down, they be like, I told him everything, and Leo just looked like he just died. Like, yeah, well, Leo was more, he was like a simple person. Like, yeah, he bit. was, um, he was like one of the f- people that got finessed in a yeah. way. Like, um, like I said, the dude, uh, Robert De Niro played his uncle. Uh, yeah, don't tell me they made him the fallout boy. I don't want to tell you, but yeah, we don't, um, they did him like they did Jim Carrey on. Bruce Almighty, like you go announce this scene, but you really <laughs> <laughs> they had Steve Carell in the office. Pretty much, oh, that's it was something. Up, it was bro. something similar. Like we don't want to give too much away, but shit did hit it the fan for them bro. because, like I said, back in the day, the money that the Indian people had the oil was money. like equal to like millions of dollars. So, so like they was balling. So they just got rich. It's so it's fast. is that why? Like, do you think? I don't know. Like, is that why some of them are still getting paid to this Facts. day? Because of stuff like that? Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Because Hell they got, yeah. they got of money. Surged, bro. It's so crazy, it's bro. It's like, as soon as they got, as soon as, because they, they were, you know, it's Oklahoma, so it's not like, you know, the land ain't hella fertile. Plus, already, the only reason they even there is because of the American Indian War, which mm-hmm. happened before that, where they pretty much picked all these Native American people up and made them move to Oklahoma. So they already own land that they don't even like really, there's not their ancestral land. They they even had a part where they were saying like how they left their babies behind, they rolled over them just to, to make sure that they know that they stay, that they stay there like uh, spiritually. Yeah. But they came to this land and then the, like they was talking about how the, the, uh, the future is going to be like ruled by the white man. They're gonna have to learn white rules and shit. And then right after that they strike oh they strike oil in Oklahoma. Then all of a sudden all the white people just flood in. It's crazy yeah. and it's crazy because like you see balling as Indian people. Like they balling. balling. Like they feel me they got going nice to cars, going uh, to like the nice schools. They lit, you feel me? But like slowly getting infiltrated by white people or whatever. And like mm-hmm. they it's crazy cause I'm like this gotta be obvious to y'all like Y'all why are y'all? Why this? are these people? Why are our females marrying them? Like, stop! Like, right. And even it was a part in the movie where like they had the, to be offering something to give the incentive of, bro. No, it was, pure it was love, just choosing, bro. bro. It was pure just love, choosing bro. from well, from the way the movie depicted it. Yeah, they were just like, oh, well, yeah, he's handsome. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he they 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 came here to work. Oh, so you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, you like me? I like you too. Like they not I think it, it wasn't looked at In a malicious way I also think it was A little bit of that Martin Luther King shit Where it's like Trying to get Trying to uh, You know segre- I mean uh, Integrate everybody yeah, You know what I mean yeah. So like you know Martin Luther King And Malcolm X Two different people But they was fighting For the same cause Malcolm X was like Nah we need to stay On our own Yeah And then um, Martin it was, Luther King was like Nah we, we should Get together Then they'll look at us As, as equals well, you know, like white people sometimes don't do that. <laughs> it was a part where the grand, like some white grandparents was looking at um, Leo's kids or whatever. Mm-hmm. And one was darker than the other. 
And they was like, yeah, this one, can, this one can just definitely pass for just one of us, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. the other one, they uh-huh. was definitely going. Like, they it was, they was it was out of pocket, you know what I'm saying? And like the grandma was like, with the grandfather was kind of more disrespectful with it. She's like, oh, we'll just leave them alone. They kids just like you know, bless their like, heart. He was like, they both have savages to me. Yeah, like I'm like, <laughs> he God, went in, bro. Damn, it was bro. Crazy. And it's just, it's just so crazy how casually ruthless they were. Yeah, like they can talk about the most despicable thing, just like, hey, like bro, hand me that there. phone. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just that simple, but they talk about knocking somebody down, bro. Like, no no conscious, like... I mean, has it really changed? Uh, no. It's just... Not, yeah, see, that's why it's so depressing, bro. Because it's like, damn, bro, like, this is how long they've been running shit, you know what I'm saying? And how... I mean, this is just a small town at a small scale. Yep. That's... What's, what they was doing is... Definitely happening on a much larger scale, and the people that's doing it in a big way, oh, they untouchable, bro. Untouchable. Like, cause these people in the town, since the whole town was in on it, they was pretty much untouchable. untouchable. It wasn't until Washington got involved yeah. where they was touchable. Like, oh, y'all, the Native y'all. Americans had to go up there. Like, bro, y'all gotta come. <laughs> y'all gotta come see <laughs> about they started this. Catching on. Well, well, they already knew. It's just. They the net they you know they didn't kill they didn't kill because they, they they only kill they killing only Native Americans you know so, they talking about the the, no, the Native Americans that, start catching on the Native Americans start catching yeah they on. they so like, the older the older people knew what was uh, was happening and they was trying yeah. to like subtly explain it to like the younger people and like it was a scene where like um, Molly uh, uh, Leo's wife her mother was in her deathbed basically and she hella angry like I don't want to talk to you bro like. To the yeah. daughter, like you, you, you married a you, white person. You, you, you fucking up our blood. Like you, we can't even see our blood. It's tainted. It's fucked now. Like you can't, like bring your sister here. Like your sister is like holding it down right now. Like she ain't got no kids. She technically not really married to anybody. I want her here when I pass away. Technically, you know what I'm saying? It was that. It was that deep. And like the older gentleman or the older tribesman was having meetings all the time. Like, bro, these motherfuckers is killing us, bro. And Robert De Niro is in so good. With everybody He's in those he's meetings He's in every meeting bro He's like He's like you know what I want a thousand dollars For the man that can yeah. For anybody Can give me any information On these murders Bring the information to me <laughs> <laughs> he goes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like I wish mean? somebody Would come to me I'm knocking you down nigga. You Like you better not it, bro, the whole But like movie. it's so cold bro It's so cold It's just such a, It's a tough watch bro it's a, I'll say it's a tough watch But at the same time It was entertaining as fuck bro yeah. Like Martin Scorsese Is a boy That's Dude, what makes it even Don't crazy. get me wrong Cause Martin Scorsese Is a white man Or he's Italian But like mm-hmm. you know he can, He's white pretty much like, Yeah you know? but I'm but I appreciate the what the story he, yeah, he told the story in so much detail. He didn't leave no nothing out. He just laid you. He gave you the fact. This is what happened. No matter how you feel about it, this is what happened. You know and what I saying? appreciate him for that. And you know, because you know, how some like white directors they'll try to whitewash that shit and be like, "Well, they were they were savages," or they'll try to like make it seem like they they deserved it somehow or something. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't do that. He just these are the details. This is exactly what happened. And in, in, in my. In my opinion, this is exactly what happened, and then this is how this is the outcome of it. You know what I mean? So I res- I respect Martin Scorsese for that, even though that movie is long as hell, bro. Okay, um, let's go ahead and rate it, bro. All right, uh, I'll go first. Oh man, this is tough, bro. It is tough. It's a tough rating. I'm gonna give it the real deal, bro. Okay. It definitely had the quality is of a real deal dopeness because mm-hmm. this is a, a filmmaker that loves film and everything about it making this movie. But at the same time, I'm gonna have a problem with this runtime, bro. Three hours and thirty minutes is it. insanity. Like, yeah. like it could have. I loved every part of it though, but it. I didn't necessarily have to see everything, so it was some stuff that could have easily been cut out, and that wouldn't have damaged the movie. I would have needed a smoke break. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure that. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and give it the real deal. I'm gonna give it a solid. I give it a solid. I give it an eight and a half. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, me on the other hand, I loved it, enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, I'm gonna give it a real deal too, but I'm gonna give it a nine point. 
Nice I'm gonna go a little higher because I appreciate the historical accuracy. Even they even threw in the Tulsa race riots. They even they threw in uh like I said, Martin Scorsese is an Italian man. He's like, you know, and they are known to be, you know, a little on the racist side. So he could have just totally whitewashed it, made it seem like the Indians were savages and they kind of deserved it a little bit. But he didn't. He fuck, he stuck to his guns. He made a great movie. That, that was shot hella good. Um, he explained why, like all the motives for each character were explained. There was a right character building. Like we, I, I like cared about every character. There was no character that I was like, you know, like all right, he died, whatever. Like you know, I miss a couple of them, but like it was, it was pertaining to the story though, yeah. and it was all about this family. It was about a family, and you cared about the family more so. And um, great acting, Leo was great. Um, fucking De Niro was great. Uh, I can't remember her name. I, I just said it, but the lady who played Molly was great. You like you just believed everything. You know what I mean? Um, it was gritty, definitely like an old time western, but like with an up to date look. It was a period yeah. piece. I like, I appreciated yeah. that too. It was super. It was it was just you know about the the old time west and what happens when some somebody who's not white gets rich and how white people react to that. And I appreciate. The truthfulness of it from coming from a white man or Italian, you know, it's but white European. So I gave it a nine point two. Yeah, I wish I had a little bit more action for that three and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that shit was crazy. I thought it was gonna be for sure like more action. It was a couple good, like like maybe like one gunfight. Definitely needed a little bit more, but it wasn't even that tight. Yeah, but um, but it definitely was like you know some some action. All right, stacks, you got. Blessed and have not having to sit down on three and a half hours. <laughs> three and a half hours is crazy. I'd have been so juiced, like, oh, we about to go see this movie. I'd have been like, yeah, nah, bro, yeah, facts. what? Yeah, nah. We got out. It was like you had to, you had to dark. Bro. You had to prepare yourself to going in for that. But uh, we don't want to hold you guys too much longer. Um, we appreciate you got appreciate you guys for coming through. Make sure you do us that favor. Please hit that sub button and that like button. It is necessary. It really is. It really helps out the video. And of course, hit that notification bell. So you will be up to date when we drop new pods or just some mini reviews that we take out of the podcast. You want to watch the entirety of everything? Tune into the podcast. But every now and then, we'll clip some stuff out. But yeah, man. This has been The Real Squad. This is the Killer of the Flower Moon episode. <laughs> and yeah, stay tuned for next week for the Halloween episode where we'll dress up in costume and talk about some fun stuff um, and some horror icons and stuff like that. Maybe do an unboxing of a killer clown from outer space popcorn gun. <laughs> but yeah, we appreciate you guys. So yeah, stay tuned. We are out. Peace. Peace.